Hey, Shay here from Nexa 3D Support, and I'm excited to give you a quick demo of our newest dental software, Dentflow. Dentflow is a user-friendly wizard for dental professionals that quickly automates the build preparation work for our entire suite of printers here at Nexa 3D. With this launch, we're supporting three key dental applications, orthodontic aligners, crown and bridge models, and crown and bridge dies. And as we collect your feedback, there's potential for even more new tools for other dental applications, such as splints and surgical guides. Now I'm going to start by adding all the aligner models I need to get printed today. I think there's about 48 in total, which is kind of a lot. Then I'll select a material from the vast portfolio of validated resins. Let's try the new Xdent 341 Beige. And you can see below a group of quick toggles for each operation you're able to perform on your imported models. There's the ability to repair corrupted models that are all shown in red underneath. Next, you'll be able to auto-orient to what's best for the desired application. You can generate supports if needed. And then finally, nest them tightly across several builds. The last toggle lets me decide whether or not I want to review the results and make any final adjustments. All right, let's click on the gear icon up here and jump into the advanced settings to see what parameters I can adjust on these bad boys. I can specify layer thickness, or I can dictate a specific angle to auto-orient the part to, and I can even choose my favorite support profile. Okay, now that I've chosen my settings, the software can do its magic and review the results. Hey, look at that! All 48 models repaired and oriented flat on the build plate. What a beautiful thing! Dentflow also has a few powerful editing tools you can use after importing all your models. There's the ability to tweak the orientation if I don't like what it gave me. I can edit individual support points as well. And perhaps most excitingly, Dentflow gives me the ability to cut my model down in height or extrude my base. As I'm sure you've experienced, dental arches can certainly be a handful to edit. So I know those are going to come in handy if I have any scan files to print. All right, all there's left to do is finalize the edits so that I can proceed to the last step. The software will take a few minutes to optimally nest the models as tightly as possible. Any overflow will be batched into separate builds. When it's finished, I will get a preview of the nesting results. In this particular case, I was able to fit those 48 models across 9 builds. This was just a quick overview so we made some edits for time, but you can expect the process to take about 5 minutes. That's 5 minutes to prepare an entire day's worth of prints. And now I can spend the first half hour of my day enjoying my morning coffee instead of clicking and dragging models around like most 3D printing build prep software. Thanks for joining me on this quick look into the world of Dentflow, and don't hesitate to reach out with any questions or feedback. Happy printing, everyone!